Taurus. We're going to do yours. Okay, I had the camera facing the long way, like when I do a short, and I just did the Aries like that. I was like, wait a minute, that wasn't a short video. <laughs> so they'll, they'll probably have something on the side there. <laughs> okay, anyway, here we go, Taurus. Okay, what's coming up for Taurus? I feel like you've got a lot of stuff here. You've got what? Venus energy, Uranus, and you've got uh, bringing in what you've been creating okay so that's nice you're gonna be seeing it okay queen of cups okay so i feel like you've got your eye on somebody even though in the past um you might have poured out your cup of love that's what i'm getting okay now for some of you um You're holding on to that idea of love. And for some of you, you had a child with this person that you let go. Okay. Yeah, there was, they were a soulmate. And... Okay, so world cards. So you're, you're going into something new here. This is a change, a big change. All right, now, what are we changing into? Four of Wands. Woo! Okay. Now, someones I feel like someone's coming to your house. Okay, it might be surprising you with a nice hello. Or, if they're not that bold, uh, they might invite you. Okay, somewhere. Now, I'm getting an art show. That's what I'm getting. Okay, and here's a new beginning. Oh my goodness. It's like, hello, uh, you're stepping into a new reality. I don't know if you're aware of it, but here is uh, good times again. And, uh, and the message has been, take the leap towards these invitations. Okay, I did a short and Aries, it came out like that. So that's the message. Okay, and then the King of Swords. So watch out for if you've been practicing kind of this cool energy with your past person to don't approach this new uh, connection with that same energy it's like approach it with a playfulness uh, a place where uh, that the past never existed uh, where there is forgiveness all right What is this? Knight of Swords. I feel like they're aware that you've been kind of shielding your energy a little bit. Okay. What is that? Woo! Okay. Now, who had that reading? It was a reading where it was like opening up to vulnerability. And I thought it was really peculiar because I was like, that doesn't sound like Sagittarius. So it might have been a masculine or male energy. But it was like opening up to vulnerability to really get in there and make that connection. And that popped up for Sagittarius. So you might be connecting to a fire sign. Okay. Or air. Okay, now what is this? Two of Wands. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's like... Okay, so it's like whatever this kind of pause was where you were shielding yourself and this and that, okay. I feel like your inner being is ready to, um, it's like, you know, the mechanical bull. That's what I'm getting <laughs> with that. It's like you're ready to um, step on the wild side a little bit. And I wonder if that's because of spring because I, all these cards that I, I've been getting for like the past couple of days, it's like wild this and wild that and i'm like where's all this wild stuff coming from and and i think 
Capricorn got, uh, <laughs> Capricorn got, uh, like the, the Capricorn was going to breathe in their person, <laughs> something like that. Okay. So, but here is another baby. Okay. So maybe after you take that first step, it's going to be really fast and then boom, right? Okay. We are in the year of the rabbit. Okay. So here is the ace of swords. Okay. So I feel like it's going to be fast energy once you get you you take that leap. Okay. Now who had something about taking off the mask? I think that was Sagittarius too. So it might be dealing with a Sagittarius here. And three of water. Three of cups. Okay, now for someone, the third cup is someone who has a night job so connecting on a physical level might be um you got to work around that or something like that i'm getting okay now what else am i getting okay so for someone it's someone who has um like what is that Okay, now here's the lion. Now, I was getting like something like not a zoo tamer, but like, um, what is that? Okay, let me get another one. Okay, wish fulfillment. Okay. Now for someone, you know what I'm getting is like someone who travels around and um, like that Crocodile Dundee guy, right? And shows animals and it's at a night show for someone. And... Uh, Know if you meet someone at something like that, okay. Anyway, it's your wish fulfillment here, okay. And you may need to find strength and courage to open up, and that may be them. So it's like go easy, but look, positivity a sunflower on the head is a crown. So and that Kundalini energy is like uh, so rising so high you could see it. <laughs> Okay, now it may be like someone from a warm climate, someone from a cold climate. I'm getting that. So if that's the case, it could be fire or air, like I said. Okay, now here is, what is this? <laughs> okay, all right. Now look at the sun looks like a sunflower too. Okay, so better days up ahead. There's like a lot of phallic symbols here. What's going on with that? <laughs> okay, now, but I feel like this lightning bolt is saying it's going to be fast and it's going to be electric, this connection. And wish fulfillment is here. Love is here. The cups are here. That's nice. Okay, so what's the fear here? Okay, so write a new story or a journal about how things are going to work out for you, right? And if you're a writer or a singer, maybe write some songs where things work out. Now, there is this kind of challenging energy that's lurking. What is that? Now, for some of you, this is like fear of the person doing something, right? Because of the Leo that you were, you, for someone, it was a, you were with a Leo, and it didn't go out that well, and so that's the fear. Okay, 
that it's not going to go well again. But every person is different. They have their own stuff. Yeah, so it's like saying, don't leave before the party started. You've got the Four of Wands. Okay. Just go slow. Yeah, this is like what's lurking around the corner. It's like you feel like it's gonna, not going to work because of the past. This is for the one person who was with the Leo. All right, now. Yeah, and that's the challenge, to let all that go. Let your burdens go with all that stuff that came with that one. All right, now what's this? Yeah, say say bye to the five energy, right? That wasn't that comfortable. Okay. Was this reversed? Yeah, so it's like saying, okay, that one you might be friends with in time, but maybe not now. Okay, so let that go. That's what I was... It's like, okay, if you energetically hold on to something from the past, that's like a, a string. And so when other people come in, they can read that and they'll see that there's not space for them. So that's an energetic tie so you want to kind of loosen that grip or loosen the past by putting your focus somewhere else. And then um, the new one can come in a lot faster. Now for some of you, that was a Pluto, uh, the Pluto lesson. Okay, the Pluto lesson. Okay. Smoking the peace pipe with the past. Woo! All right. But the, whoever this new one is has love to offer. So give it a shot. Now, for some of you, this was like, you just needed to recover from that, right? If you were with someone for a while, it was a big change. All right. But this is you passionate again. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting several suitors for you, Taurus. Okay. Okay. So you have, it's like the cream of the crop, your choice. Okay, and the key is uh, get on the bunny and go. I'll leave you with that.